What's up YouTube, Matt Moda here with Odds Jam. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about prize picks and specifically, I'm gonna be teaching you prize pick strategies and overall, how to make $10,000 specifically on prize picks. So right off the bat, I'm gonna post a screenshot from um, a verified bet tracker. It lists it as parlays, that's how prize picks is tracked, but you can see the insane profit from this screenshot, like $75,000 just in the year 2022 alone on DFS platforms like price picks. So the strategy absolutely works. Definitely recommend watching this video in full. I will say before I get started, if you could like the video, subscribe to the Ajam YouTube channel if you are not already. Uh, comment any type of feedback would be helpful. Helps me out a ton as my role here at Ajam is to help grow the YouTube channel. So let's get right into it. Starting off the bat, I'm assuming everybody watching this video understands how price picks works, but if not, I'm going to do a brief, brief kind of summary about how price picks works. Because if you want to make money off of it, you first need to understand how it even works. Price picks is essentially like a player prop parlay. That's all you're doing. You're choosing player props. You're putting them into a parlay. The more plays you add, the higher the payout. So I select Tyrese Halliburton. Points. I select DeAndre Ayton points. I think they're both going to go over. I could risk $10 and turn that into $30 payout, which means $20 in profit. That is something that I want to mention right off the bat. The payout here where it says 3x is a little bit misleading. Technically true. I'm not saying that they're misleading. Well, I'm, actually, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying they're lying to you. I should rephrase that. It's a little bit misleading, but they're not lying. $10 turns into $30, but that includes your initial risk. So if you are looking at it in terms of straight profit, $10 would turn into $20 in profit. So what you really need to know is if you hit a two leg parlay on price picks, you will double your money in terms of profit. If you add another one, three legs, now there's the, there's the option to flex the play. I will talk about that in a little bit. Straight up, we're just talking straight up. You will 4x your money, so $10 would turn into $40 in profit. If you add another one, a fourth one, um, that you can also flex that, which again, I will talk about. Right now, we're just talking straight up. Um, that turns into 9x in profit, 10x payout. So $10 turns into $90 in profit. And then they have a five and a six pick one. Five, you can only flex, and there's different payouts. So like the, the logic of doing a flex play would mean you don't have to win all of the individual legs in order to profit. So like if you hit all five, you 9x profit. If you hit four out of five, you get your money back in profit. So if you lose exactly one play, $10 risk turns into $10 profit. And then if you get three out of five correct, you actually lose money. So $10, you would lose 60 bucks and you would get $4 back. That's how five works. Then you can do a six pick one as well, similar in terms of how the payout structure works. Um, if you hit all six correct, you 24X your money in terms of profit. So 10 bucks turns into 240 in profit. If you hit five out of six, you will um, double your money, or excuse me, you will, whatever you risked, you will get back in profit. So you'll get $10. If you risk $10, you'll get $10 in profit. And then if you get four out of six correct, you miss two. It's the same thing as three out of five. Um, for a five pick flex, you will actually lose money. You will turn $10 into a return of $4. So you would have lost six. That's how the payout structure works with price picks. Something that is really cool about price picks, and this is a spreadsheet that the Oddsham co-founder Alex Monahan made. I can't take credit for it. It's genius. Because we know what the payout structure is, in price picks, you can actually back out the individual odds in win percentage and everything you want based on the number of legs that you add. But there's one thing that's really, really, really important to understand when it comes to price picks, and this is where the entire strategy is based from. It doesn't matter what individual plays you add, the payouts will be the exact same. So I went through and I added a bunch of random plays and I show you guys and I showed you guys the payout. If I add any two, two leggers, any two players, it's always going to be double your money. Always. $10 to win $20. Doesn't matter what plays you add. That's really, really, really important. 
something that you really need to keep in mind. Payout structure is the exact same no matter what individual plays you add. So when it comes to profitability, I'll sum this up briefly. When you're looking at value itself, the best value plays on price picks are five pick and six pick flex options. Now, I have previous videos where I do a deep dive on the math behind five and six pick flex. So if you're interested in getting into the nerdy nitty gritty about the math behind it, you can um, look into, you can uh, find those videos and watch them if you're interested. All you really need to know is that in terms of value, uh, five and six picks flex is the best. And it's all because of the payout. But because of the way the payout works, if you're looking at an individual leg on a five or six pick flex, it's at minus 119. Each individual leg, based on the value and payout structure of a five or six pick flex, has the individual implied odds of minus 119 per play. That's something else that's really, really important to understand, this minus 119 number. Basically meaning if you're playing a five or six pick flex, you need to win roughly 54.34% of your individual player props to break even. If you win above that number, you will be profitable. So again, right off the bat, five or six picks flex is what you should be playing with prize picks. Now I talked about the flex options. I said I would talk about the flex options for three and four legs. All you need to know, don't do it. The EV does not is not favorable on a flex option of either three or four legs. Um, again, I have a video where I go through the math on what an individual flex or what a flex option looks like for both three and four legs. All you need to know is that you should never, ever, ever flex three or four legs. You should also really never play three legs straight up. It has the worst implied odds and worst break-even win percentage based on the payout. You should almost never do three legs. So to kind of summarize everything, five and six pick flex is the best. You should never flex three and four legs and you should almost never play three legs at all. That's kind of the strategy in terms of like how many um, picks you should put into an entry. Now that's half the battle. Now let's find out how we should find plays to put into an entry. And I mentioned this before, but everything, everything, everything about prize picks strategy be is because of the payout structure, because you do not pay any more or extra or less or whatever juice, depending on the individual plays you add. Now let's talk about why that's important. Let's talk about sports betting, regular sports betting, FanDuel, DraftKings. I have a play up here. It's a good play on prize picks and I'll tell you why. But first, we're looking at Jared Allen under 10 and a half rebounds. Look at how every single sports book that prices odds individually prices this play. Look at how they price it. FanDuel all the way down at minus 142. That's pretty steep odds. That means you'd have to risk $142 to profit 100. DraftKings has it at minus 130. Then we see like Pinnacle, which is generally regarded as the sharpest sports book in the world, prices this all the way at minus 169. What, you, what we see here is that every single sports book that prices this play has it significantly, significantly favoring the under. They think that the under is the heavily likely scenario, so they're going to make it more expensive to buy. If a sports book that prices each play individually deems a play likely to hit, they're going to charge more juice for that. That's just how sports betting works, right? Georgia, favored to win every single game this year. How heavy favorites are Georgia because of how likely they are to win? Well, I'm not saying that we could bet Georgia money line on prize picks, but the strategy still applies. You look for player props that the sports books are telling you are very, very likely to hit, and you just combine those into an entry. So you can filter on Odds Jam specifically for prize picks, right? We look at prize picks, two different odds, five or six pick flex or regular two-leg entry. Now, the odds are obviously different, but you can literally use Oddstamp and filter specifically for prize picks. But the most important thing, which I mentioned, it's all about the payout structure. Every single sports book is telling you how likely they think it is that Jared Allen goes under his rebound prop. So again, they're making it more expensive to buy. But because we're using prize picks, we're getting the same amount of juice, the same odds, whether we took the over or whether we took the under. Like if I went to prize picks, and let me clear all this, 
let me go to rebounds and I'll type in Allen. Like I type in Jared Allen rebounds. I can choose his over or under. I can choose more or less. But look at how every single sports book is pricing this. Like why would I ever choose Jared Allen to go more than 10 and a half rebounds if every single sports book is telling me that he's likely heavily, not even likely, heavily likely to go under. And that's sounds stupid, sounds obvious. That is the strategy when it comes to price picks. You are looking for player props that have a high likelihood of hitting. It's really as simple as that. And when I say high likelihood of hitting, I don't mean based on what you think, based on your gut, based on what you feel. You know what? I really, really think Embiid's going to go off tonight. Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, they're going to go off tonight. That's not how it works. You let the sports books tell you what plays they think are likely to hit, and you just, you just combine those into an entry. You use OddsJam, you filter specifically for price picks, and you put those into an entry. That's how it works. That's one strategy for finding plays. It's not the only one. You can also use the odds jam screen. So the way the odds jam screen works is you pick a market. In this case, we're looking at the NFL. We're looking at the Super Bowl, which is when I'm recording this, right before the Super Bowl. We're looking at player passing yards. And I can zoom in a little bit here. So the way the odds jam screen works, you pick a market, it pulls up odds from every major sports book and what they price that market at, right? What they price the main line of that market. So we're looking at player passing yards. Look at where prize picks, prices, Patrick Mahomes' passing yardage prop compared to every other book. So this technically wouldn't show up on the Ajdam Positive EV page because no other sports book has his passing yardage prop priced that low. They have it at 285 and a half. Every other sports book, the closest one, has it at 290. And that's Pinnacle, which we know is the sharpest sports book in the world. And they favor him going over. So not only do they have it priced five full yards higher than what Price Picks has, they're also favoring the over. They think the over is the more likely scenario. And we see lines all the way up to like 298 and a half when it comes to where uh, books are pricing Patrick Mahomes passing yardage prop. A lot of P's in that sentence on Price Picks, this player prop pick. So when you are using the screen, you're looking for basically discrepancies specifically with prize picks compared to the rest of the market. The sports books are telling you, hey, we think Mahomes is going to pass for like 290, 295 yards. Prize picks is, is only giving you 285. That's a really, really, really good value. That's a really good, another really good way to find picks to put into a prize picks entry. It, again, it's not going to show up on the positive EV, EV page. So you need all of this different type of data to find the best and the most profitable plays. So when it comes to finding plays to put into prize picks, use the positive EV tool to um, find player props that essentially the sports books are telling you are likely to hit. You play them on prize picks, or you use the odds game screen and you find discrepancies specifically on prize picks. So that's gonna be it. I talked to you about the most profitable entries on prize picks five or six pick flex. I talked to you about how to find individual player props to put into prize picks, positive EV, odds game screen. You just want to find player props, as stupid as it sounds, as simple as it sounds, that are likely to hit. And that's how you can make money, make thousands and thousands, 10,000, or if you're Alex Monahan, this user, $75,000 specifically on prize picks. So again, I mentioned it at the beginning, if you guys, um, if you appreciate the video, if you're still watching this, please like, subscribe, comment. All that stuff helps me out a ton, but that's it. So I do appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.